the difference in vibrations that we often don't understand. This is the most important statement and aspect in all of the metaphysical laws. One of the most important secrets lies in always vibrating and feeling for a happy and blissful life. Instead of vibrating for petty material things like your dream car, your dream house, a bank balance that looks like your phone number, and not so petty psychological experiences like acceptance, attraction from the opposite gender, desiring love born out of just lust and so on, please just vibrate for a life filled with bliss. Now this gives rise to an apparent question, that isn't the wanting or vibrating for a blissful life, damn materialistic in itself? This awkward thinking process is the result of the social conditioning threads that you allow to grip your consciousness in the initial 7 to 8 years of your life. Let us understand this concept through the story of a person with a normal life, as normal as yours and ours. For the purpose of explaining the story from a singular perspective we would be using. I, instead of we. Let us assume that I am XYZ. Now I, XYZ, want my life to be blissful, easy going and a fully satisfying one. I vibrate for that throughout the day. During all my activities I try to maintain that vibration. The day passes away and after my job hours, in the evening as I am walking towards the metro station, I see someone who is extremely attractive. In a blink of an eye the vibration of a blissful life that I maintain for the whole day suddenly includes the desire for that certain person. Unknowingly I consider that attracting that particular person may infuse more bliss into my life. I start using the law of attraction and in no time, the other person reciprocates positively and we end up going on a date. I am having the best days of my life with this person and I profusely thank the law of attraction. I assume my life to be blissful, easy going and very much satisfying, when unexpectedly I am shaken out of my reverie, when I find out that she, or he is a commitment phobic. After I propose her, or him for marriage they just break up and shut us down. They block us from their lives and we are forced to wander in the desert of dejection for no fault of ours. Paradoxically now we start to curse, the law of attraction and strongly feel all the laws of metaphysics to be just another hoax. We conclude that we just stand a 50 percentage of chance, with or without these laws. That's exactly where we are making our biggest and gravest mistake, and stop vibrating for the blissful life that we were experiencing, and want it to continue so till eternity. Because you should always remember that the universe knows better. As we had vibrated for a blissful life in a much more powerful way, than we had vibrated for that particular person, the universe identifies our wants and treats us according. Maybe she, or he was there only for temporary enjoyment, if you had married it could have terminated in a dirty divorce battle, you may have lost a lot of your hard earned money in the settlement or they could have used you, without you even realizing it, and drained you out. The universe which provides us in accordance with our vibration unquestionably knows better than us. So you should always look out for the hidden signs that the universe is giving. You should understand how the universe repelled that person, away from you and saved you from more damages. Be assured that the law of attraction and repulsion works in tandem, and according to what you vibrate. Be sure to always vibrate for a blissful life, and let the universe work wonders for you. Thank you for watching.